Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another Plaid Stallions Toy Ventures episode. This week we're going to do something a little different, and we're not going to talk about a toy that was based on a television show or a movie. Actually, there was little to no advertising for this whatsoever, except in the Sears catalog, where it originated, because this is actually a toy made by Sears itself. I am talking, of course, about the Sears Space Command Center and Sound Studio playset. This kind of thing was definitely a phenomenon in the 1970s and 80s and is something of a lost art these days. And that is that the department stores would try to create their own toys that would be marketed alongside popular items. So they would create a play set or a carry case for a toy line that already existed and was popular. And, you know, you would go to the Star Wars page and, of course, there'd be this weird carry case next to all the Star Wars figures. They're not saying it's a Star Wars carry case, but it's somewhat implied that it is. It, this sort of thing went on and on for years, you know, in every toy line from G.I. Joe, uh, I believe the Mego superheroes, there's even like a Corvette for Spider-Man one year. And this is just one of those things. Now, when they sold this in the 1978 Sears catalog, it's obviously Star Wars inspired, but they had a Mego Captain Kirk action figure sitting in it. And that's because Star Wars figures are simply too small for this, but they wanted to hedge their bets by making this not only for action figures for boys, because the other half of this playset is for girls. It's for fashion dolls, so that Barbie or Captain and Tennille or even Kiss could use the recording studio. It truly didn't have a gender. It could be played with girls or boys. Sears did a lot of this kind of stuff with computers. This is the floor model computer. It's one of my favorite toys they ever made. It's marketed as something for fashion dolls, but it can be used with Mego or any other 12-inch action figures. And it's just an entirely awesome 1970s computer. There is also a more deluxe computer control room playset that was marketed with Bionic Woman and the Mego Wonder Woman doll. Uh, I don't own that, but I do kind of hope I'll track it down one of these days because it's entirely awesome. The box itself shows an astronaut looking out into space. That astronaut is LJN's Mr. Action, a G.I. Joe knockoff that went by many different names around the world. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what makes me happiest and take this out of the box and let you see what this playset is all about. Hang tight. The first thing I'm going to mention is that this was a gift and it is not complete. Um, I'm totally fine with that, but there's obviously a part missing that sets up the floor. The other thing is that the console, which is a working radio and speaker and does come with a microphone that I'm not showing... Uh, is probably not going to work. Uh, I, one thing, I don't have a 9-volt battery kicking around, and two, the on-off knob is broken, so I didn't even try. But it was a working AM-FM radio at one point. The backdrop artwork is insanely good, and some of it seems a tad familiar. I certainly hope that Stanley Kubrick got a royalty for this. The space theme is kind of fun and very busy, but uh, it is kind of an exciting thing, and I could totally see me using my Star Trek Migos or whatever I was using at the time and having a lot of fun with this playset. On the flip side, you can see it's a state-of-the-art 1970s recording studio. All you need is a mountain of cocaine, and this thing is perfect. I do love the dual nature of this thing hedging all the bets, and I'm going to read the copy from the box right now. It's three entertaining toys in one. It's a sound studio for your doll with printed backdrops, control console, play microphone, and chair. Two, change the backdrop and become space mission control, and your space hero is running the show. Three, turn on the AM solid state radio built into the console, pick up the authentic looking microphone, and sing along. Your voice is amplified. This is just hours of fun. <laughs> I just love stuff like this. I miss when we used to see things like this. Generic play sets for, you know, just a genre of action figures is something that we really don't get anymore and well you know quite frankly it's childhood to me had i gotten this as a kid i would have played with it for hours and hours using different characters and different scenarios i love stuff like this 
Uh, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. You can always hit me up at Plaid Stallions on Twitter. I have a Facebook group. It is called Pod Stallions. And of course, we have a Facebook page, just Plaid Stallions. There's no wrong way to get in touch with me, except probably showing up at my front door. Please don't do that. Uh, otherwise, I look forward to hearing your feedback. If you're new to this, please consider hitting like and subscribe. I do this every week. Until next time, thank you, take care, and I hope you're having fun.